Hi, my amazing artists. How are you? It is such a beautiful day out today that I thought I would do this video outside in my yard right in front of my absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous live oak tree that just goes on forever. Um, if you've been following my videos and watching them, my last one that was weaving with the toilet paper tube, I mentioned in there how to use a plastic bag if you don't have any yarn. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a t-shirt to do, uh, to do this, um, how to weave something like this. And um, I'm also gonna show you, I mentioned in that video about making a pom-pom. So I'm gonna show you how to do a pom-pom too. Okay, hang on back. So years ago, doing this kind of cutting and weaving on shirts was very popular. Um, so this, the way we cut these t-shirts, it gave me the idea that we could use a t-shirt to do the weaving on those toilet paper tubes. So I want to show you how to do that today. Now, this kind of fabric with these ribs, this is not good. You can't use a fabric that has these ribs in this because it won't, it won't stretch, it won't curl. So the kind of fabric that you need to use is just smooth t-shirt fabric, just like this, okay? Now, here's the thing, and I'm gonna give you this finger pointing at you. Do not just grab any of your t-shirts and start cutting them up, okay? Because I don't want phone calls and emails from mom saying, Miss Bachman, you told my child to cut up their shirts. So don't do that. Make sure you ask your parents first. So what we are gonna do is take our t-shirt from right underneath the sleeves and cut it straight across to right underneath the other sleeve. Get sharper scissors. There we go. We need sharp scissors for this. I'm just gonna cut straight across and do away with this. So now we're pretty much where we were in the other video where I showed you the plastic bag. If you want to do a little shortcut, you can fold it in half. We're going to cut off this bottom seam too. So we can fold that in half to cut it. Okay. So now we are exactly where we were in the video with the plastic bag. We have just a tube of fabric. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the plastic bag. Just cut that off. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention is your t-shirt. Make sure it does not have those seams going down the sides. You want it to be just smooth all the way around. And then, just like we did with the plastic bag, we're just going to start in one area and just keep cutting all the way around to make a strip. And I tried different ways to see if there was a shortcut to do this, but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted to. So this is kind of a long way to do it. Make sure you're only cutting through one layer of your fabric, not two. And you're just gonna cut this till it is a long, long, um, thin thing. I'm cutting it about, about an inch wide. And you're just going to keep 
cutting it around and around. And you're going to get this long piece. Now what you're going to do with this, once you have your whole thing cut up, you're just going to pull it and stretch it. And look what happens. It goes from flat to curved just from pulling it. So now we've got some pretty cool yarn to weave with. Just keep cutting it around and around and keep going. Okay? You can cut the whole thing up and then stretch it all at one time or you can stretch it as you go. When you're done, cutting the whole thing. You can start rolling it up into a ball. Just like if it was regular yarn. And then you'll have your t-shirt yarn to weave with. Cool, right? Okay. Now, to make a pom-pom. So I have my yarn and I have a small piece of cardboard. The width of this cardboard is about how big my pom-pom is gonna be. I'm going to take a small piece of yarn, about like that, and just place it across the cardboard. And then I'm going to start taking the rest of my yarn and wrapping it around. You're gonna need a lot of yarn to make a pom-pom with. So you're just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping it. I'm not spreading out the whole cardboard. I'm trying to keep it together and just keep wrapping and wrapping. Make sure your extra yarn stays out and wrap and wrap. The amount of yarn you wrap around this will determine how big and fat and fluffy your pom-pom is. So you want to go, oh, I don't know, how many times have I gone around? 50 times, 75 times, something about like that. I can trim this. And now these ends that I put down first, my side ends, I'm going to tie them together really, really tight. As tight, as tight as you can go. Get that really in there. Okay. So here's where I tied it. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut all of this yarn right in here. And you might have to only do a few, if I, a few at a time. If I try doing this, I, I can't cut that. That's too hard. So I'm going to take a few layers at a time and cut. A few layers and cut. Make sure you have sharp scissors and cut and cut. So now I have this. Now if I put more yarn in here, if I wrapped it around more times, this would have more in there. So you could, there's a couple of things you can do. You could have somebody help you and hold this like that and tie a string around here and you'll have more like a tassel hanging down or you can take this the way it is, make sure it's nice and tight. And if you had more yarn in here, you'd have it a little bit fluffier, but if I hold it this way, I can see it's kind of uneven, so I can trim it, make it rounder, 
as I watch all my little pieces blow away and litter my yard. <laughs> and you have a little pom-pom. So if I wanted to tie that, I would take another piece of string. I would have somebody hold this for me as I tie. It's kind of hard to do it without somebody holding it. But I would tie this around here nice and tight. And then you have a little, oops, get that out of there. Have a little, little tassel. And that and you can use you can use this to tie it on to the end of your little weaving and that's it so I hope you try this if you do send me a picture and have fun bye guys <laughs>